I'm Soul Horse Song here at Ring Lord Javel to do in Cary, North Carolina. It is a very cold night here in Cary. Uh, with the space heaters going in the gym, it registered at 40. I think outside it's probably like around 20. And it's going to be like 5 degrees tonight. But I'm still training hard and working hard. At 35, I feel like I'm faster, stronger, in better shape than I ever was. Thanks to my intermittent fasting, I'm down to about 160 and I feel great. Anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of philosophy with you guys. I got a, uh, a call and then a few text messages from a potential new student named Andre, who is um, a former Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner who was asking kind of about our training, our philosophy about training. And it made me think, um, he was kind of asking what separates us from other gyms in the area. And I really thought about it for for a good hour or so after that. And the most important thing, I think, in any kind of, not just MMA, not just Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, not just martial arts, not just any sport, but life in general, the most important thing is discipline and hard work. I watch a lot of motivational speakers and a lot of uh, stuff on YouTube on the greats, people who have succeeded and had great success in everything they do, whatever they choose to do in life. And everybody who has succeeded, it all came from hard work. We may not have the highest pedigree as far as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, as far as freestyle wrestling, as far as boxing, but I guarantee you no gym in North Carolina trains harder than we do at Ring Lords. So, um, just to kind of paraphrase, Arnold Schwarzenegger said when he was training to be Mr. Olympia, he would only sleep for five hours a night. And everyone else said, no, no, you gotta sleep for nine or 10 hours. He said, well, you better learn how to sleep faster. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Anyway, just give everything that you have. When people say, how long should you train? Then your answer should be until you can't train anymore, until failure, until you fatigue. Not until you feel like, oh, I'm a little tired, I should stop now. No, you keep going. You, you always want to push yourself to, and challenge yourself every day. Put yourself to the limit. And um, one more great, uh, Muhammad Ali, I'm paraphrasing again, uh, a reporter asked, how many sit-ups a day do you do, Ali? And he said, I don't count my sit-ups, I only count them when I start to hurt. And then the next day I want to beat that record, I want to beat that record. The great Crone Gracie, son of Hickson Gracie, um, 
he said that he challenged himself every day in the dojo. He says, if I tap somebody out 10 times yesterday, I want to tap somebody out 20 times tomorrow. If I tap them out 20 tomorrow, then the next day I want to tap them out 10 times with one arm tied in my belt, and so on and so forth. So, always train as hard as you can. Life is so short. Um, it's unfair to yourself to not see how far you can push, push yourself. If you work hard in everything you do, then I guarantee no matter what you choose to do in life, you will be successful. Uh, like Braulio Estima said, he, he said, I don't care if you're the best grass cutter in the world. If you're the best grass cutter in the world, you're going to be successful in life. So, uh, and with that note, you guys train hard. We'll see you here on the mat, and uh, stay sharp.